That means for Gornwood, they look like this. It's Ashmore in goal, a back three of Tom Champion, Jamal Fifield and Femi Lasami. Kane Smith and Sobel Thomas on the wings. Gus Mafuta, Corey Whiteley and Mark Ricketts in midfield with Matt Reed and Kabongo Chamanga up top. For Woking, they look like this. It's Craig Ross, a back four of Josh Casey, Jack Cook, Saul Shotton and Tyler Reed in midfield. Ben Dempsey, Kane Ferdinand, Tommy Block. And up front on the wings, it's Matt Jarvis and Kieran Lofthouse with Josh Davidson down the middle. I've got to say, it's uh, beautiful under the lights, isn't it, Meadow Park? It's always looked lovely, but today, for some reason, looks especially lovely. I'm not quite sure why, but... Yeah, the greenness is fantastic. Obviously, the best, best pitch in non-league football, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it, you're probably right there, as the ball is finally played by Woking, and it's them who have the possession. It's Mafuta. Back to Orsorba Thomas. Through to again, and then Lissemi takes a step over, and... Runs up into trouble and plays it back towards Fifield. Looping ball up towards Matt Reed. Matt Reed will Great get it touch. down. Nice little touch from him. And then just before he was about to strike, he was hauled down there and yeah, would have got foul. themselves a free kick in a very good position there. Probably the only option up if it, unless he passes to Gus Mafuta, who's just loitering there and no one's marking Gus Mafuta. No. Here comes Thomas. Here's Goal. the shot. Goal. Oh, oh, just wide from Thomas. Yeah. Ross died for it, but I don't think he was getting there. Took a nick That's though, and it's gone yeah. out of play for a corner. One hand in the air, here it comes. It's towards the near post. Good beating out from the goalkeeper this time. Looping ball in the air from Boreham Wood. Schmanger tries to loose onto it and then gets the shot away and it's a good save this time from Ross down to the left-hand side. It's a great start here by, by the Wood. It's, uh, we've got pressure on here now and uh, a couple of shots on target there would have been, uh, would have been two up. Steps over it and then oh. tries to play it back, but he gets it all wrong. And there's an opportunity here now for Woking, but Fifield does well, comes across quickly, makes the challenge and then is fouled in the process. Well, goodness well me, done, Vic, Jamal. I thought they were in for a second there. Yeah, well done, Jamal. In towards Reed, who's just come back a little shorter to win sharper. possession. They've got it back, though. Down the left-hand side now, Woking, and they're breaking in numbers quickly. Down the left-hand side, in comes the... I was going to say cross come shot, but it wasn't quite anything, and... And then it just sort of floated out to a Bournemouth player and they cleared. Not a great clearance though, and they've got another chance here, Woking. Cross towards the far post, and this time it's better from Smith. Smith gets it back towards Whiteley. Smith is there again, but Whiteley will carry on in towards the penalty area now. Flicked in towards the middle. Oh. Reed was there! But Matt Reed couldn't quite turn it in. Ball still in play. Still, in, still play. in play. Still in play, we're going in again. Thomas, strange chest come. Shoulder there from the working defender, but it's not classed as a handball and carried on. Whiteley in possession for Boreham Wood. Bit of pushing there, but he manages to get the ball away from him and down the left-hand side. Now Woking have the break. Still in possession, Jarvis with the shot and always rising. Danny Hunter said in last week that he'd been transfer listed as the ball is whipped in by that man and a head comes on it from Mafuta, but doesn't quite... Get it towards the goal, and out of play it goes for a goal kick, and, and towards Casey. Looping ball in towards the middle. Ball would need to clear it, and they do. Out towards Whiteley. Well played. And then Whiteley does really Corey well to Whiteley. win the ball back. Fantastic. He's brought back, but he was oh, able to get it in towards Shimanga. Shimanga takes a touch, takes a second touch, takes a shot, and it's oh. just got enough on it there from Jack Cook, and then it slid, slid in towards Craig Ross's hands, but the sting was taken out of it by Cook, and that challenge, and he did well there to fend off Shimanga. And, uh, and he's proved to be just that, just an outstanding keeper in this level. And a great bit of business to, uh, to get him back for this season as well. Yeah, absolutely. Shimanga plays it off towards Mafuta. Mafuta almost gets something yeah. in there, but can't quite get direct it on target and it's out of play for a goal kick. Just waiting for a second and then throws it down the line in towards Lofthouse and then back to Reed. Reed allowed to go past his man and then gets the ball in. Oh, Lofthouse gets onto it, whipped towards the back post and well saved from the legs of Tom Champion and then cleared pretty quickly. Sorbel Thomas will probably not be shooting from this angle, so we'll have several players to aim for. One of those is Matt Reed, who is the first man that he can see. And uh, he's towering over Josh Casey there, the man who's marking him. Ball put in towards the middle and it's great goal. been put in. Great goal. Yeah. And Bournemouth take the lead here in the 32nd minute. 
It was a great ball in from Silver Thomas. It was met in the air. And Bourne Wood have taken the opener. Bourne Wood won, Woking nil. Yeah, superb ball, Silver. Matt Jarvis in possession for Woking. Back towards Tyler Reed. Reed tries to skip past Villasami, but Villasami does very well to hold him up. But referee to judge that he's fouled his man in the progress. And, it's and he just, just outside the box as well. With those players in the middle there to make sure they're not too boisterous as the ball is whipped in. It's Jarvis, plays it off towards Casey. Casey gets a shot on. Oh, oh. just hits the crossbar as it goes across. And Ashmore was scrambling. Yeah, good, good little free kick there. Instead of crossing it, the, the boy's run over the ball and he's taken the, the first first ball from Jarvis and uh, struck it well, hit, hit the bar on the far side of the goal. Take a corner here and put the ball in towards the box for a, four people are waiting for them, including Reed. It is Reed that gets oh. head on it and Reed just puts it wide. Should have been. So close, so close. Finishing the half. Oh, we started it now, so that's, that's good. Goal and kick that is, is taken, half and that's half time. Which the referee brings this first period of 45 to a close. And um, a little bit of a summary for you, Vic. How have they played so far in this first half, Bournemouth? Well, I think we've been, been much a better team, in fairness. Um, I know that they've had a couple of chances, but nothing really um, sustained. And uh, I think we, we've, we've played uh, the better football, and, and we're in better shape at the moment. And... Uh, Providing we can uh, push on, keep going, I think we'll we'll get another goal because we've been close there on three or four occasions and we're just waiting for one to go in for us. Absolutely. Smith down the right-hand side. Reed oh. crossing it in towards Ricketts. But Reed will try and chase it down again, but really done well there from Josh Casey. Champion crosses it forward. Will he make it just in time? Oh, he does. Chip it across and it comes out towards Reed. Oh, Reedy. Unlucky, sir. Oh, it just spun away from his foot. He had to pick the ball up. Thomas then is allowed to take, finally take the cross. It's in towards the middle. It hits oh. the knee and then comes in towards Mafuta again. He gets a shot away, but can't quite get it on target. He nearly had a second. Time ago now, but not that long ago as he strikes it. In towards the middle, header comes in, shot comes oh. in and cleared from Fifield, and that was a goal bound shot. And if it hadn't been for Jamal Fifield there, we'd be looking at an equaliser. And uh, you spent a bit of time as a kit man as well, didn't you? Yeah, kit services to, the, to some top, top players and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Fifield intercepts the ball, plays it towards a footer, Fifield carries on, tries to get it back, and there's almost oh. a shot, and it's in, but it's offside. So unlucky. Mafuta goes for a challenge. So does Murta. Giving it up though, and it's working in possession. Back towards Matt Jarvis, former Premier League player with Wolves and West Ham, whips it in towards the far post. In comes the shot, and he scuffs it. Yeah, there's a miss it. Miss it from the lead there. In towards Matt Reed again, and then delivered long from Tyler Reed. Oh, what happened now? It's up towards Davidson, who's got himself an opportunity. Now into a Spasov. Spasov looking to shoot, but he's fouled right at the last second there. And they've got themselves a free kick in a good hit, good area here, Woking. Giving his orders. Here it comes. It's a good free kick, yeah. and it just clips the wall. And clips the wall, he's cleared. out for a corner. It's a corner now coming in. And I think that's the four minutes up, so... This could be the last uh, kick of the game. It's up to whatever the referee wants to play left. As long as they stay strong and, and defend it properly. Here comes the corner, it's towards the far post. The header comes it's in. Out, but it's it comes out. Good. good challenge and good header. Good tackle. And then another good tackle down by the near side. And yep. that's going to be it. Well, Boreham Wood are very pleased with that. They held on for a long time there. The goal came... In the first half, on the 33rd minute, it was a great little cross in from the free kick from Silver Thomas. It was met by Gus Mafuta. He turned it home. And then in the second half, they were put under a bit of pressure from Woking, but Speaking. 
in the end they were able to hold it off and Bournemouth were able to collect the all-important three points.